Hello, my name's David. I'm the wandering ponderer. Today, I'm not in the museum, but I'm going to look at a bit of history because I'm very thirsty. So I'm going to go and look at what it was like to drink way back in history. Look at that, bees, honey bees. This is the village hall and uh, down here there used to be a brewery. This house, we'll show, I'll show it to you from over here. There's the old brewery house. Because down here was another brewery. This is an area that I haven't taken much video footage of. This is Queen Street. of houses down here, old. But this house, and it's got, you can't quite read it, but it says the George home brew and then it's got D B E L I think it is B E L R on the end W D uh, D B E L R back in the day when people settled in the town and industries started to rise up. Drinking water was a commodity that wasn't very safe to drink as we've covered because of all the sewage and you've got people that used to tan leather, tanners and uh, all sorts of trades that could produce wastewater other than sewage that would contaminate the drinking water. Now there are places where they had wells and water pumps but uh, there's not much evidence around the town here of water pumps. The only place you could get fresh nice clear drinking water it's obviously the streams that run into the river but I'm sure even some of those streams were polluted a bit further upstream so drinking water really was a a bit of a health hazard with the rise of industry what did they do well it's always been throughout the centuries a thing brewing ales and beers and uh, if you look into the history of beer you'll see that it goes back to 3000 BC even and maybe before 3000 BC 
they were brewing beer. The beer was a source of nutrients that they didn't get in just the, the average food that a poor person would get, beer and bread. Beer and bread. I'll read you a quote. It says the standard diet for the poor was beer, bread and onions. Beer was so important that model breweries were left in tombs to enjoy for individuals to enjoy the afterlife. Now, talking about Neolithic farmers in Orkney were brewing beer with ingredients that included henbane, hemlock and deadly nightshade which if they did not kill you would certainly give you a powerful hallucinations. So it wasn't always safe drinking the old beer and of course in the times when these places were built, the, these Coggeshall places, it was a bit more sophisticated and the science of brewing had developed. But in the early days, ale was a bit thick like soup because all the filtration wasn't, wasn't used in the olden times. So, water in Coggeshall was a rare commodity, I dare say, unless there was a, a water pump from a well that gave you fresh, clean water. The inns and the early pubs were the only source of refreshment and this is it drinking water no cups of coffee in those days no cups of tea but the brewing process was a good thing because in a sense it purified the water and this is something that the monks knew hence all the wine making and all the beer making. Now this is something you don't see. This is a Sunday as I do this. The town is fairly deserted, people wandering around. The Baker's is open over there. Um, we've got a, a small amount of shops open. The Baker's is selling ice cream. But this, Coggeshall Fruit Box. You think, oh, well, you only get fruit and veg in here. No, because they've started branching out now which is a good thing and look as we go in fruit and veg it's all right. but I bet you locals didn't know that they now sell cookie assortment. That is something I'm taking home. I'm going to buy one of those. Cakes. Peanut cookies. A 
and the chiller. And of course, fruit and veg. Fresh eggs. And just so you know, they've told me that they're going to be expanding their, the range of things that they sell in there. So this will be a good little shop for topping up and uh, not getting your weekly veg if you don't buy it on the market. It's the same people that do the veg stall on the market. So kudos to the Coggeshall Fruit Box. Tiny chicks. Beautiful. Beautiful. Someone's going to come over and bother me now. Wanting some bread. <laughs> ah. Makes me want to drink. Well, what have I got? What did I get from the fruit and veg place? Well, I'll show you, if you bear with me. I got... some clotted cream biscuits. Nice. And because I am a big fan of ginger beer, I got a bottle of ginger beer. Brewed with fresh root ginger. It doesn't say it's non-alcoholic and it's suitable for vegans. So that's something. I wish I bought some bread now for the swans. Look, turned his back on me now. Oh, thank you for staying with me this far. To be honest, I didn't expect to find the uh, fruit and veg place full of more than fruit and veg. So if you're looking to uh, top up, that's a good place to go. So a shout out to them. And I'm signing off now. So don't forget to do all the necessary there and thank you for staying with me on this lovely sunny day I'm gonna drink some ginger beer and have a biscuit and I'll see you in the next video